we've had four significant fires in the last five days or so. So that's, that's pretty intense. You don't see much sign of this fire this morning. Thankfully, the cool temperatures overnight have helped firefighters, but make no doubt it is likely still burning behind me. Hasty exit. That might have been the last time. Might have been the last time I ever saw my house right there. It's like Armageddon here. There's nobody on the road, nothing. Absolutely nobody. Cars are burnt. There's people on the side of the road with crying babies and dogs and broken cars and no gas and no food. And it's just, it's like it's in a movie. I've never seen anything like this in my life. All Albertans are watching this. All Albertans are with the people of Fort McMurray. The end of days. <laughs> Literally, if you look around, there's people panicking. But I need to show you, it, it's not just on the border. This is Fort McMurray burning this afternoon. Uh, we're right in the thick of it. This is Highway 63, the main corridor, and we're in downtown. We're not far from a fire station, to be honest. This is insane. Holy f Oh, you can feel the heat. Not in. Holy shit. This is f***ing crazy. It was just automatic crazy. panic, um, fear. I'm thankful that we got out alive, but uh, I lost a lot. We successfully evacuated eighty-eight thousand people. No one is hurt, and no one has passed away right now. I really hope that we get to the end of this and we can still say that. We are here. We are strong. And we will keep doing our job. Thank you very much. I lost everything. Uh, a lot of memories from the last uh, 50 years of my life here. But uh, the truth is, it just doesn't matter. It's just done. to say to the residents of Fort McMurray, Canadians are with you. Our thoughts are with you. Our prayers are with you. Fort McMurray is a place where Canadians have come from all across this country. It's a tough day for Albertans, but we will persevere. Thank you, Mr.